chop saw 101. We're going to go through how this thing cuts and we'll also add on a little bonus feature of actually making something with it. This is a chop saw that uses a carbide blade, the same carbide blade we find in the wood shop. The carbide material is hardened steel, it's harder than this, so it wins when they battle. Um, this, bait, this blade just spins a little slower than the one in the wood shop, that's kind of the only major difference. Um, other than the blade is, uh, has a little bit different spacing for the teeth. So how this thing works, uh, there is a clamp here to clamp material in. You just thread this in or out to get this closer. You cannot cut material any shorter than six inches in here. Okay? So you can't cut something um, like this short in here because the clamp won't hold on to it properly. So material should be longer than six inches in order to cut the chop saw. We have to make sure they're clamped in securely. And we don't want to cut through carburized metal if we can avoid it. What is carburized metal? It is the stuff on the end of this from being torch cut. We want to make sure that we move the, the blade back so that we don't cut through that carburized metal. So I've got this one inch piece of round tubing. I'm going to place it in the vise. Find where I want to cut the end off so it's clean. And I'm going to clamp it up tight. This machine's loud, especially with anything that will resonate, meaning tubing. This stuff rings, it's like a wind chime. Oh. And then, well, I found the uh, point of resonation right there. So it's loud. You want to wear earplugs. If you don't have earplugs right now, you should cover your ears with your hands, okay? Let the blade come up to speed and then just use uh, pretty good force to run it down through the material. Let the blade stop, raise it up, loosen your material, and then in this case we're going to cut the other side as well. Volunteer to cut the other side. Anybody? I'll cut it. Alright, awesome. Here, protection. Okay, I hang on. I tighten the material, but you'd want to check that, make sure it's tight in there. Good? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. the blade stop while it's down. Minus can. 10. So these five Four. components, these are thrown into the recycled steel bag. Okay. When you're done, make sure you get rid of your scraps from this. this. This only cuts perpendicular or 90 degrees. It will do angles or it used to, but we don't allow it to anymore. We just have it fixed there. We just do straight cutoffs with it. We need to do angles. We either grind the angle or we cut it on the bandsaw. Okay? What happened right where? Here? The blade got forced over because the material wasn't fastened in there, so once it started cutting, the material actually slid over and brought the blade with it. And see.